Well, Northeast Ohio Group is using a unique idea to drum up votes. They got together to promote an income tax levy that would generate millions of dollars each year. John Louis Hillary Golston now live in Illyria with that story. Hillary, good evening. Good evening to you, Russ. The folks behind this idea really believe that their community is at stake here. They got together on a Saturday morning, about 50 people all together standing to make that six in the cold, all clad in red. You probably figured it out. This is about issue six. That's why they made that human six. And our viewers are the first tonight to get a look at this out-of-the-box idea that organizers really hope can make a difference. The team behind this human red six sent me this aerial video. Alone, it's pretty impressive. I'm, I'm proud and I smile because I remember how much fun everybody had. Dr. Mark Jesse, an Elyria City Councilman, knows he's up against really low odds. Increasing the income tax in Elyria, good or bad idea? It's bad. A survey found only 41% support the levy. Trying to pass a levy is never sexy. We feel that the future of the city of Elyria is at stake. Income taxes would go up from 1.75 to 2.25%. Each year, $6.2 million raised, 10 police officers hired, upgrades to parks, repairing roads, installing a fiber optic infrastructure across the city. This technology will make uh, Elyria stand out and very unique versus the surrounding adjoining communities. <laughs> They also put their video making skills to use on another part of Illyria. They hope to beef up with this money. <laughs> the historic downtown, once bustling, now looks like this. Yeah, there you go. From the ground to the air, the organizers hope they can quickly go from grassroots to wide support for a plan they'll stop at almost nothing to push. And one other thing. March 15th is a chance that voters will have to vote on this measure. Now, they had 11 council members who voted in the affirmative unanimously to approve putting this on that March 15th ballot. And they're hoping through social media, Facebook, Twitter, that they can get the message out with a budget of about $20,000. We're live here in Elyria tonight. I'm Hillary Golston, Channel 3 News. Election Day getting close.